the process of biological transmutation, which was our original imprint, we were not meant to die. If you understand how to activate DNA and you can fix the mess that's been done to our DNA, death was not originally part of the human condition. Transmutation was the way to get out of here. You didn't leave a body behind. You didn't have to. The bodies didn't get sick because you knew the mechanisms by which they stayed healthy. That's all been taken away from us because of the way our history unfolded. The indigos are bringing back our heritage. They're bringing back the knowledge. And I know this, and I know it intimately, because I'm one of them. I'm one of the indigos. There's three types we'll talk about later. I'm a type one. And I'm not the only one. There's 350 like me right now, and there's like uh, 2,500,000 of type three. So there's a lot of indigos here already. Okay? When I speak about indigos, I'm not speaking about somebody told me something about indigos and I'm passing it on to you. I know what it's like to be raised in an indigo body here. I know what the indigo body means and what the gene code is doing. So I'm speaking from the heart as well as the mind when I talk about this stuff. We need to understand how our DNA functions. If we're going to understand how the DNA of the indigos differs from that of human, why they are considered, even though they birthed through human bodies, why, you know, through human parents, why they are considered literally a hybrid ET race. There is a distinct difference in their gene code, and I've done diagrams in these chart packs to show you that difference, because it becomes really apparent when you, when you have the spatial relationships and the visual diagrams.